I've got me a little fishy I have. Oh, Lennon? Look what's happened to McCartney. It's a Hexbug Aquabot. This is a pretty cute little toy here. And uh, what are we gonna name him? Are we gonna name him Nemo? No, that's a little bit too uh, straightforward. How about the incredible Mr. Limpet? That's Limpet! The Capitaine! That's Limpet! That's Limpet! That's Limpet! We've got the system now! So this is from Hexbugs. I've been curious about this. It's a remote-controlled fish. I love Hexbugs, but the only batteries in the Hexbug world are these little button cell batteries. Fortunately, it comes with batteries, so that's a good thing. We'll take a minute to admire this beautiful packaging here. You'll notice they have a nice little reef set up here for the fish and the controller. And of course, I can go ahead and turn them on by touching the uh, two little uh, water sensors there. And I am now conducting a current through my body just like the water would. Let's go ahead and pull this little fishy out of here and test him out. We've got a nice little decoration for our little fishy. Of course, you're gonna wanna remove this little tab first. I think this is his speed setting there. Yeah, so you've got high speed, low speed. That's pretty nice. So you've got a low speed, high speed and a low speed, low speed, and you've got a high speed, low speed, and a high speed, high speed, a right turn and a left turn. So I really want to find some water and test them out. We have ourselves a fish bowl. I think the fitting habitat for our little fishy. I'm gonna get you little fishy. I'm gonna get you little fishy. There is no reverse, of course, in this tiny little fish tank. It's just so tiny. Just so tiny. But I can make him turn that way. Let's see if I can make him turn the other way. Come on, little fishy, can you turn the other way? It would be nice if he would sink down a little bit on his own, but he does not seem to want to sink down on his own. He seems to float roughly at the surface. Well, maybe decorating the tank will help. We put in the little decoration. And of course, this fish is very buoyant. He has a lot of air inside there. He uses a gasket to seal off the battery compartment instead of using uh, nanotechnology to make him waterproof. So we decided to take the world's cheapest 3D printing pen here and just dab a little bit of this 3D printing material on the back. And of course, you turn on the ultraviolet light here and it cures it within just a couple of seconds like that I actually show that this little ten dollar 3d printing phallic shaped device is quite useful and of course the uh, material is apparently waterproof as well we've put a little screw there so that he can actually have extra buoyancy taken away from him or added on to him. But there you go, that should actually help him sink down just a little bit further while he swims around and of course give us a little bit better control. The thing we want to try and see if we can do is get him to turn around. So right now he's making right turns. Let's see if we can get him to go left. That's our goal is to get him to go left. Left. Come on, turn around, little fishy, you can turn around. Come on, you can turn around, you can do it. No, you're still going to your right. That is your right. Okay, we'll go over to the right a little bit more and then see if we can go back over to the left on this corner. Come on, fishy, turn around. Turn around. Give us some semblance of control. He does not want to turn to his left. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. Come on, Mr. Limpet. You can do it. You can do it. Nope. Nope. Not right there. Let's, let's try some quick little taps like that. Come on. Turn around. There you go. There you go, Mr. Limpet. All right. You are now making left-hand turns. Yes, you're turning in a left-hand circle. Yes, our little fishy is going in the other direction, which, you know, is a type of remote control, so... There you go, there is a $20 remote control fish. 
add in a $10 3D printing pen and a nice little $10 fish bowl and you've got yourself some fun but this isn't really for me this is for the young ones here you go try it out babies I'm gonna get you little fishy I'm gonna get you little fishy cause I like little fishies of course whenever the battery goes out it does just look like a dead little fish hello fishy but at least this one when you tap on the screen, at least this one will wake up. Wake up. He's awake. He's awake. He was sleeping. He was sleeping pretty hard there. But he does respond to taps on the screen. Swim, fishy, swim. I didn't mean to scare you. Calm down, fishy. Calm down. There he goes. There you go, big calm. But doesn't that give you a kind of a thrill of hope, George? Hope for what, Henry? Well, with the war in Europe and new weapons being invented all the time, why, what if men were actually foolish enough to destroy themselves completely? Then you see, the fish in the ocean would develop into a new race of men, and, well, this time they might turn out better, you see?